Hey everyone, welcome to the American Jedi channel. Today I wanted to make a video for Polestar 2 owners. Um, you might come across a situation where your Polestar app stops working. I came across a situation where uh, it kept saying failed to initialize. So it wouldn't connect to the car even though I had LTE full, you know, almost full signal. This is in my garage, so the signal is not completely full, but um, I knew that the car was you know, still paired to my phone because I could still unlock and lock it and everything else with my, like by touching the handle, but I couldn't get the app to launch to like turn the climate on or unlock, lock the doors through the app. So, um, you know, I would close the app, I, I would relaunch it, I click retry. And then finally, um, you know, I called Polestar and they had me do a couple things like, the same thing, they had me do a T-cam reset, which is where you hold the defrost button for a really long time, probably like 30 seconds or something like that. And then um, you'll see the SOS button up here, uh, it'll flash and, uh, and then you let go and that's how you reset your T-cam, which is in the shark fin on the, on the roof. So that's your communications module. And then I also did a, you know, an infotainment reset where you hold the bar the light bar for a while until the screen turns off and then you let it go and then it comes back on after about 30 45 seconds so anyways um yeah uh this is how i did it so what you what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to tap on your profile so up here in the right corner right and then you're going to want to tap on this arrow and that'll take you to here and then you'll see an option called Digital Key and Remote Functions. Now this is version 2.7 software. This is the latest software that's out right now. So it might say something different, but you're gonna wanna go to wherever it says Digital Key. Click on that. And then you click on whatever phone you have paired with your car. And then what you're gonna wanna do is unpair the phone, unpair this phone. So once you hit that, it's it's gonna i think it asks if, are you sure or something like that but you're gonna unpair your phone and then you'll go back to the menu and then what you'll do is when you're unpaired you go into your phone delete the app just you know delete it off your phone then you're going to re-download the app you're going to have to sign back in on your app once you have it read uh, with your Polestar account, you'll have to sign back in. And then you're going to go to your car and or stay in your car, whatever. And then you're going to you're going to repair the key again, which is you're going to have to have all of your keys, all three keys, usually your sport key and your two key fobs. Uh, you're going to need them all in your car and you're going to click on I think it's digital key and remote functions. And you're going to click on uh, like this one. Well, you'll have a uh, another button down here that'll say uh, pair digital key. So, um, and it'll uh, walk you through the process. You'll you'll go on your phone, and it'll say uh, pair pair to car or whatever or add vehicle, and you're gonna do that. And it's you make sure to have your Bluetooth on, and because that's how it works is through Bluetooth. And you're gonna pair your vehicle to the car again. You're gonna you're gonna add digital key. Do all that again. And then it should work. Once you launch the app, it should come up and be able to uh, unlock your car and start to climb it and all that stuff. So hopefully this helps all the Polestar owners out there that are dealing with app issues. I know um, it's not 100% reliable. Mine's been probably like 90% reliable until it stopped working. So just to give you an update, just, just be patient with it and Nothing's perfect. Uh, I wish the app was a little better, but it is what it is. I hate that term. I don't know why I keep saying that. But if you have any questions uh, or if you need uh, detailed instructions on how to pair your key again and pair your phone to the car, go ahead and leave something in the comment section, and I'll be more than happy to lay it out for you. All right, you guys. Stay safe out there and take care.